And I told her, no cheese on the sandwich. <laughs> I know. And, and you know what she told me? She had the audacity to tell me, you can go, oh shoot, oh, we're rolling, oh. Welcome back to Egyptian Now News. Hi, I'm your host, Set Your Butt Down. My parents sure did love me. Anyway, everyone is still shocked by the early death of our young ruler, Tutankhamun. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought I had a bad name. Like, set your butt down. It doesn't get much worse than that. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, shoot. Um, I'm actually getting word from my boss uh, that he actually changed his name. His original name was Tootin Cotton. Why would you change your name? Tootin Cotton to Tootin Cotton. Hey, if his if his dead egg head over here, you know, with a big head, and I could name children properly, maybe this wouldn't have happened. Or maybe if you know, the, the ruler actually had had a brain, he would change his name to something cool, like Set or Your Butt Down. Uh, our new ruler is King A. What is with these names, man? I mean, he's been, he has been getting death threats from people for quote unquote stealing the throne from Horembe. 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 I'm not even going to talk about that name. Hmm. But, you know, everybody's fine. You know, a few death threats never hurt anybody. Anyway. The Sphinxes... Why? My... Dude. The Sphinxes... Who comes up with this... Uh, the name Sphinxes for a football team? If you're watching this and you na made this football team in the name... Th this face... It explains it all. <sighs> Took a massive victory in football against the Great Pyramids. Apparently the worse name you have, the better you are at sports. Uh, they won 24-7. to That just proves my theory. The, wor the worse your name is, the better you are uh, at sports. <sighs> anyway, now to the real news. This is serious stuff. No silly names. Straight, like, straight facts. This is going to save your life. Mal malaria. Ma malaria. Oh, wait. Oh, never mind. Sorry. Malaria. Sorry, yeah. My bad. All the silly names got mixed up. It's sweeping our beautiful country. Priests are telling everyone to worship the god more and guys, wash your hands before every meal. I mean, you don't know if the guy who's serving your food or if you yourself have malaria and you're just spreading it to your kids and everyone else who eats your food. You never know. But, <laughs> we're going to tell you ways of telling if you or anyone you know has malaria. Um, hold on. Signs of malaria is, um, if you have random chills, uh, if you, like, feel sick or dizzy, um, if, uh, or, you know, even random sweating. Uh, <laughs> but all you peasants! down there in pyramid construction already sweat a lot, don't you? Moving all those big old blocks all the time. Ha! Funny. I'm even stuck in a pyramid. 
Don't ask. Long story, even with my crew. We're stuck. It's not my fault. I didn't lead him in here. Okay, uh. Sorry. Got a little off track. Off track ranting there. Oh, this is Ren Chills. Uh, I said that. Feeling sick, yeah, yeah. <sighs> anyway, some scientists, you know. Whatever they're calling themselves, some weird fact stuff, are saying that it's actually caused by mosquitoes. Yeah, that just puts a weird taste in my mouth. Mosquitoes, eh. <sighs> but most people are saying it's because we're not worship worshiping Sekhmet, you know, the goddess of, you know, health, enough. But I think. It's because we are, um, you know, gods kind of hate us a little bit. You know, but that's just me. Uh, and it makes more sense what those scientists are saying anyway. No matter what you believe, uh, you're probably asking yourself, how do I prevent and or stop this um, disease? Well. I'm glad you asked. Ah, if you would look on this rolled up little piece of paper here, you probably can't see it, but you know, pretty well. But there should be a copy in your room, wherever you are, if you're watching this. If there's not, you know, it's just buy one, you know, they're only like five bread. Buy it, really cool. Um, so. Uh, signs of having malaria are, as I told you, randomly being cold, being very hot, which, you know, would help if you're randomly being cold. Um, sweating a lot, as I've said. Your head hurts, vomiting, and diarrhea. Poor guy has pukes and then pukes out the other end. And ways of treating slash uh, prevent, preventing malaria. Uh, magical amulets that uh, <laughs> we're selling at our little shop. You, you might not know that. It's really popular, really. It helps a lot. Uh, slash jewelry. Sacrificing animals or jewelry, like kill the nearest animal you find, or throw your gold into a fire. Pray. You know, pray and hope for the best. You know, that's, that helps. Or this new thing called a hospital. Yeah. It's kind of catching on, actually. Uh, you know, it's weird. It's it's it seems pretty pretty nice. Um, but anyway, uh, priests and doctors are saying to get help if you do have or you know anyone that does have malaria. Okay. What? Oh, yeah, okay, sorry. I'm getting word from my boss that this is not only probably, I'm probably going to be killed, but we're running out of time. Yay, good God. Anyway, this has been Egyptian Now News. I have been your host. Set your butt down. <laughs> this is probably the last time I'll ever be seen. Oh, wait, hold on. Anyway, the Pharaoh A, yeah, remember him from the beginning, has just been assassinated. Some say Horme, Horembe, Horambe, whatever his name is, Horembebebe, has killed him, you know. I think so too, but I don't know. Don't, don't tell anybody. Oh, also, a a uh, news crew and has been lost in a pyramid because of their stoop the stupid newscaster. Who wrote this? I, I swear I'm I'm going to beat whoever wrote this. Anyway, thank you for watching. This has been Egyptian Now News. I'm gonna kill whoever did this.